What is good to my YouTube family? Hope everybody's doing good out there and having themselves a great start to the new year. Happy 2023. I told myself it's been a minute since I've posted anything to YouTube, and this year I want to at least try to upload some more content for some of my loyal subscribers that I've had for, for the last five years. Now, this is different than anything that I've ever reviewed on my channel. I'm going to get away from some cell phones. I'm going to get away from some battery banks, yada, 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 and I'm going to show you guys the review of the Yeti Rody 24 cooler. Now, I never thought in my life I would be doing a review on a cooler for anything, but I was at a barbecue prior to uh, Christmas, and for the last couple years, I've always used the Arctic 20 and the Arctic 52 core. And somebody showed up with one of these Yeti Rody coolers, and I immediately fell in love with it, and I decided that I was going to go ahead and upgrade my current setup, and I was going to try one of these out and test it for myself. Now, the price on these is pretty expensive. People will get shocked when I tell you, but this cooler costs $249. Now, obviously, with the years that we've been having and inflation, that is a lot of an investment for a cooler, but I promise you on a scale of one to 10, this is definitely one of the best products that I've ever purchased. Now, I've only used this cooler one time, but after using it, I will tell you it is worth the investment 100%. Now, there's multiple amounts of different colors that you can pick from on the Yeti website. I obviously went with the Navy. On the front of it, you just have the nice branding. You have the two locking latches. On the side of it, you'll see I already put the Eat the Rich sticker. You know, I put that on all my products. On the back side, simple molding. You'll see that there's caps here. This is where Yeti puts in the insulation for the cooler. Now, I've only used it once, like I said. There is already starting to be a little bit of scuffing, but it's a cooler. What do you expect? On the left side of it, same thing. And on the back, from this angle, same exact thing. Now, you do have this nice lifting strap on it. Very good, sturdy with this plastic handle. Not gonna hurt your hand with all the weight and the ice and drinks inside. This does swivel back and forth as you move this. So you do have a cutout here if you wanna put some sort of rope mechanism or some sort of lanyard of some sort if you wanna strap this down for, for any reason. Now on Yeti products, they will tell you that they're bear proof. You can look it up yourself. A bear itself cannot get into it. It's pretty amazing to watch these videos to see how sturdy that these things are. Now that's a single-handed operation. Just go ahead and pull the locking mechanisms here and you can literally lift with one finger. On the inside, you've got the Yeti branding, of course. You've got the nice, thick rubber gasket that's gonna keep all the drinks cool, not allow any air to get inside, keep a nice air lock tight and allow you to keep that ice as long as you possibly can. Now, on the smaller coolers, I will say, most people that are going on a big camping trip or things like that are probably not always going to utilize a small cooler. Now, just speaking for myself, I use the smaller coolers mainly for like tailgating, family barbecues, maybe going to the park for a couple hours. But if you are going to utilize this for whatever your purpose is, I can tell you right now, the ice on this is gonna last you an extremely long time if you follow Yeti's specific instructions on how to keep the ice cold. Now, the number one thing that you gotta remember is that the wall thickness on these coolers is extremely big. You're looking at almost two inches here of insulation. The insulation is what is gonna obviously keep the ice cold, your drinks cold, your food cold, yada, yada, yada. Now, by looking inside, you can see it's pretty deep, okay? You will be able to stand up a wine bottle and I will fill this whole thing up so that all of you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and show you how to close this thing back up. Just drop it. You're gonna lift this latch. It's gonna slip right under the molding and you're gonna close it. Now, on the bottom side of the cooler, you're gonna have Yeti branding along with this rubber material feet. So that way it, it won't slip and slide all over the place. And if you take it to the beach, it's kind of cool. It'll leave the Yeti logo in the sand. Not that it matters, just kind of a cool thing. Now, like I said, I've already only used this once, but you are starting to see a little bit of wear and tear on it. But with a cooler, that definitely, definitely comes with the territory. Now, the number one thing that most people don't do, and I've watched other review videos on this cooler, the number one thing that a lot of people do is they just simply put their drinks inside of there, they dump all the ice on top of it, and they close the top. And as they do the reviews, maybe they get 24, 36, 48 hours, which substantially is still really good, of course, in the concept of an ice cooler, but if you want to utilize this to maximum, maximum value, you need to pre-chill the cooler prior to using it. 
and this is exactly how I'm doing it. It is currently 3.07 on January 6th, 2023. I'm going to go ahead and open up the cooler. And what a lot of people do is they'll go buy a bag of ice, they'll put it inside here, and they'll come back in the morning and remove it and consider it pre-chilled. The reason that you do have to pre-chill it, just, just for information, like I said, you almost have two inches of thickness here. So that insulation, regardless of where you are storing this cooler, whether it would be in your garage, in your house, wherever it is, it's just going to be room temperature, okay? Or it might even be hot if it's in a hot atmosphere. Now, I live in California. Right now, the temperature isn't that warm. It's currently 62 degrees outside, but people live in all types of different places. Some people live in very cold areas. Some people live in very hot areas. So I'm not going to go ahead and try to dictate the weather and tell you, well, if it's hotter outside, the ice might melt faster, or if it's cooler outside, it might last longer. I'm simply going to go with the atmosphere that I'm being given, and then you can just judge yourself for it. So the way that I'm going to pre-chill this cooler is how I do all my other ones, is I buy these one gallon waters anywhere at the public store. I freeze them, and I'm simply just going to place it inside of the cooler. Okay, if I want, I'm just gonna kind of lay it down. Okay, and what this is gonna do is while it's sitting in here, it's going to cool that insulation that is inside the cooler. Now, like I said, it's January 6, 2023 at three o'clock. So I'm going to allow this to sit until tomorrow morning. We'll start taking some temperatures on the outside and on the inside of the Yeti. We're gonna use utilize the Yeti ice. We're gonna put drinks in this. We're going to fill it up with ice, we're going to close it, and we're going to begin the ice challenge to see if we can at least make five days on the Yeti Roadie 24. So that is just my quick thoughts and review, looking at the outside and the inside of the, of the cooler. And like I said, I'll be back tomorrow, and we will begin the ice challenge test. Okay, guys, so we are back. I'm going to go ahead and get a nice timestamp. It is currently 919 on January 7th, 2023. If you remember, we put the... We put the uh, pre-chilled uh, one-gallon water bottle inside the Yeti yesterday at around 3 p.m. So we've been pre-chilling for almost 16 hours. Now, that is not the official time that you need to pre-chill a cooler for. But, you know, 16 hours is a good amount of time. 12 hours is a good amount of time. Just as long as you're pre-chilling the cooler as Yeti asks you to to get the, you know, the most bang for your buck. Now remember, $250 strictly for just this cooler. Now, if, as you start going up in size, the price increases dramatically. So you want to utilize the cooler to its highest, highest ability. Now, I was going over some of the footage from yesterday. There's a few things that I just wanted to point out real quick. Yesterday, I made a comment that the that these coolers were bear proof. Now on the Yeti Rodi 24, they don't actually specifically say that. Now, once you start getting into like the Tundra 35, 45, and so on, they actually come with some holes in the molding where you can put locks on the actual yetis so that way if you're camping or whatever you can keep a lock on it and that if you watch the videos for the demonstration when it comes to the bear proofing of these coolers that is usually how they're doing the demonstration so as far as the yodi Rode 24 the durability of it and the construction of it is extremely high you know high profile it's going to take a lot of damage but i don't necessarily know if this is bear proof with that also being said I didn't point out yesterday on the molding that on the left and on the right side, sorry, it's a little tight in here, there is an area for you to fit your left and right hands underneath the cooler if you want to hold it that way. Now, Yeti has this cooler clocked in at right under 14 pounds, but with a four pound Yeti ice inside of it, 10 pounds of ice and all your drinks, you're looking close to 25 to 30 pounds when you're holding this cooler. So as far as mobility, it is pretty heavy. If you have to walk from like a parking lot all the way down to like the beach coastline or things like that, it is going to be a little uncomfortable and going to be a little bit hard to move around. But again, you are paying for the brand and you are paying for maximum durability and the best cooler that's out there on the market. The other thing that I wanted to point out is yesterday I made a comment during the pre-chilling about people putting a ice bag inside of the cooler, but I didn't really elaborate on why I don't do that. The reason that I don't do that is because when you come back the next day to remove the ice bag from the Yeti, I see a lot of people then rip the bag open and then they pour the ice directly back into the cooler on top of their drinks. But because it's been letting off all that coldness for the insulation and all those things, some of the ice inside of the bag has completely melted. So now you're pouring slightly melted ice on top of your cold drinks and stuff. Again, 
It's a little bit of a petty thing to point out, but if you're trying to utilize this to maximum, maximum strength, you want everything to be 100% cold at the time of start. So again, I put uh, 16 hours of pre-chill time. Right now we're reading 57 degrees on the side of the cooler and on the top of the cooler, 55.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty dang good. So I'm going to go ahead and lift the latches. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out my one gallon pre-chill. And let's go ahead and take the temperature reading inside the cooler. 37.2 degrees. So that's almost, what, 15, 16 degrees uh, lesser than the outside of the cooler. That's exactly what we want. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the ice and we're going to load this puppy. Now the up. first thing that I'm going to do now that the cooler is pre-chilled, I'm going to be using the four pound Yeti ice and placing this on the bottom of the cooler. Now let's go ahead and lift this open again. The four pound Yeti ice is going to fit perfectly at the bottom of this cooler. Now, yes, of course, it's going to take up just a little bit of space on the bottom. Now, people ask me, why are you using the Yeti ice? Why don't you just use any form of generic ice packs that you put inside of like a lunch bag or, you know, yada, yada, yada. Well, Yeti claims that their Yeti ice is completely different than that. Number one, the construction of the Yeti ice is extremely durable. They make it a point to say that it's extremely bomb proof, basically. It's not your everyday ice pack. It melts faster and it freezes faster. Now, without getting into the specifics of it, basically the way that they say, basically the way that they put this is that it's a way to just prolong the longevity of the ice. And that's exactly what we're trying to do here. Now, if you want to go on their website and read all about it, have at it. Basically, they just say that the science and technology that they put inside their ice packs is not to be utilized as a replacement for ice itself, even though it is already cold. It's only being used to for the longevity of maintaining your ice. And that is exactly what we are trying to do here. Now, this is going to run you about 30 bucks. So now you're almost looking at a $300 setup. Okay, now that the cooler is packed, you'll see that I have plenty of adult beverages. Shout out to Yellowstone. If you know, you know. Now I'm going to go ahead and just take all my ice and I'm just going to fill this all the way to the top. Okay, guys, so the cooler is packed. Ice is all the way up to the top for the most part, and we are ready to rock and roll. Now, up to this point, you should be extremely proud of yourself. We've pre-chilled the cooler. We have the four pound Yeti ice on the bottom to help with the longevity of the ice, according to Yeti's website. We have almost, if I had to guess, I just opened a 20 pound bag and used a little bit more than half of it. I'd probably say we have between 12 to 14 pounds of ice inside the cooler. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it up. And I'm going to begin the timer. I'm gonna see if we can make it to 120 hours. We're time stamping and beginning our test at 928 on January 7th. And yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. And basically what I'll be doing intermittently is coming out and pulling drinks out just if I was utilizing this uh, for a week's trip. All right, guys. So just for timestamp purposes, again, it's 951 now on January 8th. We are just over the 24 hour mark of the ice challenge test for the Yeti Roadie 24. Now, yesterday I got pretty busy. I didn't even open this Yeti one time and I still haven't opened it yet at all. So let's just go ahead and pop it open and see how we look after 24 hours. And just as I suspected, barely any movement on the ice at all. Now the ice, of course, is starting to settle. There's a little bit of a gap here on this side, tiny bit of a gap here on this side. But as far as the ice itself, it's practically like I took it out of the bag. So if you were worried or if you're ever wondering if you can use this cooler simply for a 24 hour transportation of some sort to maybe move some sort of frozen item, maybe fish, I have no idea, ice cream, or even drinks if you need to travel in the car, 24 hours, you are not gonna have a problem. Let's go ahead and allow the clock to keep moving and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, welcome back. It is now Monday evening, 6.48 p.m. on January 9th. We are over 57 hours since we began the Yeti Roadie 24 Ice Challenge. And we're just gonna cut to it right here. Let's open it up and see what we're dealing with. 
Okay, wow, so there is still a large amount of thick, hard, cold ice inside of this cooler. First thing I will notice is that the can and the bottle that were fully submerged under the ice when we began the challenge now are fully exposed. So the ice has slightly started to melt. Uh, there's probably a thin layer of water that's probably sitting on the bottom right above uh, the Yeti ice. And uh, as far as uh, from what I can see, this is extremely impressive. This is probably going to hold up easily to the five days, but we will continue checking tomorrow and as follows just to see where we're at. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, welcome back. It's now 5.11 p.m., January 10th, 2023. We are just about to hit 80 hours on the Yeti Rody 24 Ice Challenge. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so as you can see, the ice has significantly dropped, um, but there are still huge chunks of ice inside of this cooler. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these top two, uh, the can and the bottle, so that way we can take a little bit of a closer look. All right, guys, now that I've removed those items, you can kind of get a better idea of how much ice is actually still left in the cooler. The ice, you know, is a little bit wet at this point, but it is still extremely, extremely solid. Uh, down in the bottom, it's starting to feel a little bit more sloshy. You can see that there is some water. But after three days, this continues to impress and be completely stellar. Extremely cold inside the cooler. And uh, I mean, what can I say? Uh, three days, almost 80 hours. We're looking great. We'll check back in on it tomorrow. All right, guys, welcome back. It's 5.35 p.m. in the evening, January 11th, 2023. We are approaching 104 hours since we put ice in this Yeti Rody 24. Let's go ahead and open up the latches and see how we look. Okay, so obviously the first thing you can see now, there is quite a bit of water inside of the cooler, but there is still a large amount of ice that is in there and it is extremely ice cold. I mean, these drinks are extremely cold, cold to the point where it's hurting my freaking hand. Um, so at this point in the test, uh, it's pretty obvious that we're going to reach the 120 hour mark that I was shooting for. Um, I just wanted to point out, uh, depending on your situation, uh, you could possibly be at the point uh, where we're at here, where you may want to drain that excess water. And uh, in case you didn't realize, uh, when I did the initial review in the beginning, on this particular model of Yeti, there is no drain port uh, where the Tundra 35s, 45s, and so on all do have a drain port on the side of it. So that is, you know, for some people, that could be a deal breaker. You know, maybe you don't want to always have to remove, you know, the items that you have in there and then pour out the excess water just to refreshen it with ice. Um, that might not be suitable for some people. Um, for me, it's not a deal breaker at all. I don't mind doing it. Um, depending on the situation, you know, if I'm on vacation, I'm not going to be doing an ice challenge. That's for sure. I'm not worried about uh, longevity of ice at that point. I mean, of course, I want it to last as long as possible. And I'm going to go through the pre-chilling method and all of those and all of those tasks that I've been performing. But I'm not concerned um, with the fact of having to remove and drain um, on some of the other coolers that I've had, yes, it is convenient to have a drain port, but you know, if you are trying to justif justify why you may not want one, you got to remember those drain ports are a potential, uh, reason, uh, if a gasket goes bad or an O-ring goes bad, you know, some people have complained of leaking or, you know, allowing air to get inside and having your ice melt faster. So it's all dependent upon what, you know, what fits your needs. But of course, again, for the purpose of this video, all I'm worried about um, is that I'm reaching the five day mark uh, with ice in this cooler. And I'm definitely gonna, definitely gonna make it. Um, so with that being said, I'll continue to check it uh, daily until there's practically no ice left in the cooler. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, welcome back. It is now Thursday morning, January 12th, 2023. We have officially hit the five-day mark at 120 hours since we put ice inside of the Yeti Rody 24. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we look like. Okay, so compared to yesterday, a lot of the same. I would say, obviously, a majority of the ice has melted, but there is still quite a large amount of big chunks. It is extremely cold. The ice and the drinks, everything in there is freezing. Um, so at 120 hours and five days, it is official. Your drinks are still cold inside of the Yeti Rody 24. 
There is not going to be very many uh, ice chests or coolers on the market that are going to substantially hold ice for this long. So we're just going to go ahead and close the top. And for the next couple, maybe day or two, I'll just open it up real quick and take a quick shot so you guys can see exactly how long it ended up lasting. But five days, I'm extremely impressed, very happy uh, with this cooler. And I mean, what more can you ask for? All right, guys, I will see right, you tomorrow. Guys, just a quick update. It is now 9.27 p.m., still on January 12th. We are at almost 132 hours. So that's five days and 12 hours, five and a half days. I got home. I took a quick peek inside the Yeti, and we are now officially down to just a few strangling ice chips. So I'm going to stop the timer there. And uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to go ahead and take everything out, clean up the cooler, and I will give you my final thoughts. All right, everybody. Well, we finally made it to the epic conclusion of the review and ice challenge for the Yeti Rody 24. As you can see, I have officially cleaned out the cooler and we are reset and ready for vacation whenever that time comes, hopefully soon. Um, I just want to say thank you very much for everyone who made it to the ending of the video. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Hopefully 132 hours of ice time was enough to convince you of how awesome the Yeti coolers really are. I mean, really think about that, guys. Five and a half days that this cooler held ice for. Drinks ice cold. It's suitable for any purpose. If you just need it for a day, a weekend, almost a week, Yeti is definitely the way to go, and I hope that I proved that to you guys in this video. And regardless of where you go, there's always going to be that one person that says, hey, my cooler does the same thing for a quarter of the price. But you know what I have to say to that? When you're walking into the barbecue, when you're walking through the beach, you are going to feel total boss status knowing that you're holding the king of kings when it comes to coolers. Yeti is by far the best on the market. So go ahead go out, pick yourself up a Yeti, and join the richest. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please hate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!